Hey guys, I'm Vinny, this is Colby, and this is Whiskey with Friends. Today we're doing a review on Bibb & Tucker 6 year. Bibb & Tucker is a Tennessee bourbon, aged 6 years. It's in the name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's about it, 92 proof. Uh, it's not from one of the big distilleries, but we know the match fills primarily corn, like any other bourbon, I think it's about 70% corn. And uh, let's get this show on the road. If you haven't seen our reviews before, we do it on a scale of one through five, nose, palate, finish. And we keep it very general and casual. All right, our nose. Very earthy. Yeah, it's earthy. A little get, sweet. Yeah, a little sweet. You get a little bit of the ethanol. Oh. Mm -hmm. Smells a touch of burn, but not not, not enough bad. to scare you off. Not bad. You can definitely tell it's a young bourbon, though, by the by the color. It's very light. It's actually a six-year bourbon, but it does smell young. Mm. Yeah. What are you thinking? Maybe three and a half. I was thinking it's not three, three and a half. Yeah, it's, not. The, it's not a big fan of the earthy smells. Yeah, it's not too. Yeah, I know a lot of them have it, but. Just doesn't do a lot for me. It's not jumping out at me, definitely. Yeah. Say three, three and a half. Yeah, I think so. I think you can say that. All right. Sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It's good. Not overly sweet, but. It's sweet. You get, um, there's a little bit of, it, it drinks a little warm. Yeah, but not, not bad. Not no. bad. It definitely has a sweetness to it. It has that earthiness that you smell. Yeah. Hmm. It's not very complex. You can tell, I feel like you can tell it's not a very old bourbon. It's not super complex, it's very basic, kind of underwhelming. <laughs> Yep, tastes pretty average. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh it's it's at about sixty dollars. Yeah. But I mean at the sixty dollar price point, you find a lot of really good yeah. bourbons, and this is easier to find than yeah. a lot of the bourbons you would want mm -hmm. at sixty dollars. But I wouldn't go crazy no, I looking wouldn't. for it. I feel like High West makes good products. Makers has products in that price range that'll easily beat this out and close There's the There's a bunch of Buffalo thing. Trace stuff right in that price range. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, three? Yeah, I think a three across the board to me. Yeah. Very underwhelming. Yeah, the finish is coming through pretty similar, pretty similar to the palate. Mm -hmm. A little get, bit of rice spice in the finish. I was just gonna say, I get a little, a little more spice, spice in the back, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice mm -hmm. in the back of it. Yeah, still no, think. You lose the sweetness on the, yeah. on the back. Yeah, the palate's definitely sweet, the finish is a little more rye than anything. Mm -hmm. I think three across the board. Yeah, I everything was, nose, yeah. palate, finish, threes, straight threes. I'm all right with straight threes. Yeah. All right. So Bib and Tucker, six year age, ninety two proof. It's a uh, Tennessee bourbon. Did our review. We're gonna go three across the board. Mm -hmm. Three on the nose, earthy. Three on the palate, a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Still that earthiness to it. Pretty simple in flavoring. And then uh, three on the finish, you get a little bit of that rye, a little bit peppery. Yeah. You lose the uh, it's just, just okay. Yeah, All just good average. Good. Definitely find right. better stuff at 60 bucks. All right. That's a review. That's the review. Enjoy.